We love Mario Kart, and clearly we are not alone, because Nintendo's Timeless Kart Racing series is one of the most popular and best-selling franchises. And with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe being Nintendo Switch's best-selling title as of pre-E3 2019, and Mario Kart Tour for smartphones right around the corner, there is one question on everyone's mind. When will we see the Switch-exclusive Mario Kart, or who knows, Nintendo Kart? E3 is one month away. Already? Oh my god, where'd the time go? I thought January was like yesterday. Yeah. What's going on? But mo even more interestingly, it's been five years since Mario Kart 8 came out. Five years? Where'd the time go? <laughs> Which means that we may be close to another Mario Kart game. Mm -hmm, exactly. And uh, it may be more than just a Mario Kart game. It's made more than just a Mario Kart game. As you can tell, we just appropriately... We're gonna, we're gonna have a little fun with some go-karts. <laughs> Go, go, go! Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe have combined sold more than any other Mario Kart game, with the exception of the extremely popular Mario Kart Wii. Now, it makes sense that the best-selling Mario Kart game was also on Nintendo's best-selling home console of all time. But the Nintendo Switch is following the sales pace of the Wii, despite still not unleashing a brand new Mario Kart. And seeing how well Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has sold, it is pretty clear that five years after the launch of the last new Mario Kart title, Nintendo might be prepping up for a big reveal at this E3. But how do you top Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which had amazing anti-gravity gameplay, tracks, music, characters, way better online than Mario Kart 7 and Wii, added the ludicrous 200cc speed setting, and even improved Mario Kart 8 Wii U's shortcomings by including a solid lineup of battle modes and battle arenas, even more characters and dual items, though this one was a little unbalanced with way too many shells on the screen. In other words, with the exception of the unbalanced dual items and a little unsteady online, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for Nintendo Switch was pretty much perfect. However, there is a certain thing people overlook with Mario Kart 8, and that is how the franchise is no longer only a Mario franchise. As Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was the first title in the series where the base $60 experience included non-Mario characters, tracks, and carts. More specifically, characters, tracks, and vehicles from some of Nintendo's most popular first-party franchises like Link from The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, and Breath of the Wild, Villager and Isabel from Animal Crossing New Leaf, and Inkling Boy and Girl from Splatoon. As for tracks and courses, we have The Legend of Zelda's Hyrule Circuit, Animal Crossing's The Seasons Track, Splatoon's Urchin Underpass Battle Course, but also tracks from Nintendo's historic but now defunct racing franchises Excite Bike and F-Zero. From Excite Bike, we got the classic NES motocross track, and from F-Zero, two high-speed tracks Mute City and the lengthy one-lap Big Blue. The inclusion of F-Zero wasn't only attached to tracks, as Nintendo also added the Blue Falcon Kart alongside Link's Master Cycle Plus and Master Cycle Zero. But it still came as a surprise to many that Captain Falcon did not punch himself into the roster in the Mario Kart 8 expansion and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And this is where we are with seemingly a perfect Mario Kart, but in reality just the first phase of a Nintendo Kart with characters, tracks and vehicles from Nintendo's most cherished IPs. In fact, we believe that Captain Falcon was deliberately kept away from Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, as Nintendo has big plans for him and the F-Zero franchise for the next Mario Kart. You see, F-Zero, though an important franchise for Nintendo, is the worst performing one and has not seen any new installments since F-Zero GX. As such, with the plans of an even higher speed setting, that being 200cc back in Mario Kart 8, this must have been an idea to slowly but surely merge the F-Zero franchise with Mario Kart. The DLC and Deluxe served as a testing ground to see if players wanted to see F-Zero gameplay in Mario Kart. And players loved the F-Zero tracks and high speed they offered, so much so that we are very likely to get even more tracks from this franchise for the Mario Kart title which is currently under development for Nintendo Switch. 
With it, we will finally get Captain Falcon as a playable driver, and it wouldn't surprise us if he will be the first big reveal for this title, as he Falcon punches his way to victory in his own cup. Yes, Nintendo might create an entire cup based on F-Zero tracks. Do you really think it was a coincidence that F-Zero was the only non-Mario franchise to get two tracks out of the eight DLC tracks? No, as we now only need two new tracks for a complete four-race cup. And now you may think, hmm, if they can create an F-Zero cup, why don't they do this for Zelda, Animal Crossing and Splatoon? After all, by the time this game comes out, we will not only need tracks from the Mario franchise, Super Mario Odyssey, Yoshi's Crafted World and Woolly World, and Luigi's Mansion 3, but also Zelda Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, and Animal Crossing Switch. All of these could serve as potential cups, such as the already existing Triforce and Leaf Cups, but this time with only Zelda and Animal Crossing tracks. This way, Nintendo can bring back all five existing Zelda, Animal Crossing, Splatoon, and F-Zero tracks and include two additional F-Zero, three Zelda, three Splatoon, and three Animal Crossing tracks to create four fully franchise-based non-Mario cups. Now then, could all the new tracks be from these franchises? Or will we see more variety with additional franchises? Say one track each from Kirby, Metroid, Star Fox, Earthbound, Fire Emblem, etc. Personally, we prefer the latter. Though we will understand Nintendo's logic if they save some of these for expansion passes and DLC. The first option may sound familiar, as it is the same approach we saw with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Reuse as much as possible, but also include more than the base product. No doubt. Mario Kart being a Mario-specific franchise convention has been broken for good. The only question is how far will Nintendo go in the direction of a Smash Kart for this game? It could be just one character inclusion from a new Nintendo franchise, or it could be five, and with it, Mario Kart will be more of a Nintendo Kart. Which, let's face it, will be even better seeing the worlds, locations, characters, and vehicles that non-Mario franchises have to offer. In other words, Mario Kart Evolved. In future videos we will get back to these topics, but for the rest of this video, let's focus on what recent Mario titles could offer to the next Mario Kart, how far the game could be into development, and on whether we will see a reveal at this E3. Let's get the new Mario content out of the way first. Since this will be a landmark Nintendo Switch game, we wouldn't be surprised if the team decides to focus on Switch-specific Mario titles for tracks such as Super Mario Odyssey which had a number of racing themes and when New Donk City is an obvious candidate, and Super Mario Maker 2 being represented through Mario Kart track or course builder. We have already seen it in the modding community, and with Mario Maker now becoming a proper Nintendo franchise, we expect that a track builder is very likely to find its way into the next Mario Kart. Imagine the possibilities such a tool could have, building insane tracks on level with those found in F-Zero GX, tracks that Nintendo would never include in a Mario Kart title. The number of stages would be endless, but this kind of mode would require the right tools, say a simplified form of those used by modders. If you feel a Mario track is missing from the game, then just build it. We have Stage Builder in Smash Bros Ultimate, then why not also have it in Mario? Including all we have listed will take time. Luckily for us, 2020 will mark the 6th anniversary of Mario Kart 8. 5 years since the last DLC for the game was dropped, and 3 years since the remastered Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and also of interest, ARMS came out. Since Yabuki was heavily involved with the Mario Kart franchise prior to the creation of ARMS. In other words, Nintendo and the Mario Kart team have had plenty of time since 2014 to create a next-level Mario Kart experience. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe likely served as part of the development process. In fact, if there is one 2020 game that might be revealed during Nintendo's E3 2019 Direct, then this is it, pretty much the same way they did in their first E3 Direct in 2013. It would be a loud and clear statement from Nintendo that they are not holding back any of the years of the Nintendo Switch, and that a first half of 2020 release might also mean that Nintendo could have another big release in store for the second half of that year. Just like they did with Mario Kart in May and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U in November of 2014. Though this second title will likely not be revealed until late 2019 or early 2020. 
It is this or Pikmin at this E3 for launch in 2020. But if you were Nintendo and looked at sales numbers, then yeah, to keep the momentum up, it is way better to bring a proper Mario Kart Switch title first. That way, Nintendo will be able to have best sellers and system sellers in all of the Nintendo Switch's first four years on the market. Zelda and Super Mario Odyssey in 2017, Super Smash Bros Ultimate in 2018, Mario Maker 2, Animal Crossing and Pokemon Sword and Shield in 2019, and Mario Kart Switch in 2020. And we all know that Mario Kart matters, as it is one of the main attractions in the upcoming Super Nintendo World theme park in Universal Studios Japan. Mario Kart Tour is also coming out this summer for smartphones, we have a new Mario Kart VR experience in arcade in Japan, so yeah, Mario Kart is very important for Nintendo and we will not be surprised if the next Mario Kart for Nintendo Switch will be revealed at this E3. Well that was a race, yep. that was a race. I was last place even though I was first for like the first seven laps, <laughs> but they all caught up to me. Either way, what do you guys think? Will Mario Kart 9 be announced at E3? Is it coming out next year? Will there even be a Mario Kart 9? Will it even be called Mario Kart 9? Will it be Super Smash Kart? That is the question. Yep. Yeah, so uh, let us know in the comment section down below. In the meantime, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button as well. And a big thank you once again for 200,000 subscribers. Yes. There are and a lot of things coming in, but we're looking for an editor on uh, the channel. Yes, we're looking for an editor. <laughs> so everything is in the pinned comment down below. It's a little bit noisy in here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, also thanks to our patrons, including Royal Producer Kenyatta Ali and Bradley Carriage. Uh, Patreon.com slash Common Realm. In the meantime, we'll see you girls and guys on the next one. So Bye. long.